This is ふ。吹き荒れる。闇の中から必死に外を覗くと。眠りの顔がぬっと現れた。なお名乗れ。Okay. Hi. So, nu is a sound effect that is kind of like suddenly, but not like a fast suddenly. It's kind of like you suddenly notice something. Something just like notice you. Like you suddenly something appears, or suddenly something like sticks out to you, kind of. Nu. 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 Hi. The wind. Uki areru. Areru is the. Is the exist to exist, but we're talking Good about the case. Um, aru is not aru. They are very similar. Aru is to, to exist. A de do is actually violent. Violent. So this is a violent no. blowing of wind. Aru to do violence. So, uki aru. The wind blow violent. Okay, and that bit modify yami no naka. In the middle of the shadow. Hi, within the, the middle, shadows. Within, yes. Violent wind blow within the shadow. Hi. Kara, therefore. Ah, uh, that's a good guess. Is naka a noun or a verb? Naka is a noun. So, so that makes this from. From. From the middle of the shadow. Hi. And then the idea is that I, hishi ni soto nozoku. Ah, from within the shadow, hishi ni asoto nozoku. Desperately peers at the outside. So, and when he does that, what do, what happens? Um, neburi no kae kao ga the neburi face nutto arawareta suddenly appear. Perfect. And, and then, then neburi yells this. What does he say? Na o nanore name give to me. So give me your name. Tell me your name. Um, right. And how is this word up here pronounced again? Buki areru. To Hi. blow, blow violence. So, so. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, hitsu, hits, hishini. Hishini, yep. Um, this clause here. Hi. Who is, pier who is doing the piercing out? The main character, I. If you ever don't know who's doing something, it's probably the main character because this book is told in the first person. So Khan is Naka no Yami. Yes, he's within the darkness. So if you remember last week, he was holding this stone and he, to the extent he was holding it in two hands and then suddenly this, the darkness of the stone went... <clears throat> And it's enveloped him. Um, and it has now enveloped he's inside. him. Now he's inside. And it has caused basically to be a kind of whirlwind around him, basically. And he's like stuck in this like darkness. And he's like, oh. So that's why he's desperately trying to look outside of this darkness that he's locked inside. And when he does so, he happens to see Nebody's face. And Nebody's like, tell me your name. <laughs> okay, I understand now. Uh, do you have to know what furu means with this kanji? To shake. Yes, to, to shake. To tremble. Uh, that'd be furueru, would be trembling. Furu is just to shake. To um, shake. Do you know what this kanji is? Kubi, the Hai, neck. Kubi, neck. Nice. Can you read the sentence? I mean, well, yeah, sentence, phrase, whatever. Kubi o furu. Hi. So literally, this is to shake your neck. 
However, contextually, this has the same meaning as to shake your head in English. Shaking no or shaking yes? Uh, shaking no in general. Shaking no. Hi. But you can specify. Um, but normally, if you say I shook my head in English, by context, you assume it is um, negative. Hi. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Hey, oh, put that. What does that mean? To wave your hand. So, so. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? This is yoko. 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 Uh, along the bank of something. Mm -hmm. The side of something. Kind of. Yoko means um, horizontal. And it can be used to refer to the side of something, the horizontal length of something. So it can, in certain contexts, be used as that. The word itself is just horizontal versus like vertical, but it has, as I said, like like you like you mentioned, there are certain contexts where it can mean beside. Um, hi, yoko, yoko, hi. So, can you read this for me? Hey, o yoko ni futta. What does that mean? Waving hand horizontally. Yeah. So probably not waving in this context, probably like a weird kind of like, like if you ever like did like a don't talk about something hand, maybe move, yeah. make a make a like a linear movement from left to right or right so, to left, so. something like that. Exactly. With your hand. OK, so let's go read this text from the book. Sore de mo. Ore wa kubi o yoko ni futta. Hi. Even wants... yeah. Even so, ore wa. Uh, I just say it now. I forgot again. Uh, kubi kubi o kubi o shaking head. So, so. Shaking the head. He doesn't want to give the, his name. Shaking yep. his head. So in English, we probably say shake his head no versus okay. shaking his head horizontally. But they're just I... saying he's shaking it that way versus up and down. Yoko ni futa. Hi. Um, do you happen to know what this kanji is? This is fuku. Having to do with a body part. Makes sense. Uh, do you know what fuku means? Sound like clothing, but it it's is not clothing. It is it clothing. Is? Yeah, hmm. good. Yeah, clothing has weird kanji. Good. Okay. Good. I guess something you gotta wear even under the moonlight. Hmm. Um, okay. let's go read this line from the book. This is ice, not water. Hi. Kori no yo ni sukisashi. Suki sata or sashita? It, it, it is supposed to be sata. <laughs> sata. Suki sa sata. So. <laughs> like ice. Now, let me remember. Suki sa saru is what? What is it? Suki sa saru. Suki sa sa. Something like ice. What is it doing like ice? It's ice. um it ha it's not stabbing, but it's very similar to stabbing. Oh, it's it's penetrate my yeah, bones. To pierce. Pierce my bone, something like we something learned like last that. Pierce. Yeah, so to pierce like ice. To pierce like ice. Perfect. Yeah. Can you read the sentence for me? Ma jutsu shi no fuku wa Koroi. The uh the magician clothing is black. Hi. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? Hakai. Perfect. Hakai. Um, can you read this word for me? Kang takai oto. Hi. So this is a sound that is very high pitched or shrill. So high pitch is kantakai. Kantakai. Hi. So let's go read the sentence. Kaze ga kantakai oto o hatteta. 
to raise a shrill voice. The wind raises a shrill voice. Yes. Or sound. Makes that sound. sound. Right there, it just says sound, but it probably says voice in the context. Um, can you read this word for me? Ikiko. No, no. Ikimushiro. Hi. Ikimushiru. Also. Sorry. Well, it, 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 mushiro is probably like almost more common. Ikimushiru. But it is uh, mushiru, the verb. Um, anyway, this is to pull and like to pluck at. And together pluck. it's like the pluck pulling. It's a pulling pluck. Not like grasping at. Ikimushiru. Uh, Pull something funnily, out. Yeah. Funnily enough, um, this this is an ex a good example of a word that's not in the dictionary, but is made out of hiku to pull and mushiro to pluck to mean pulling and plucking basically. Mm. But if you put this in the dictionary, it's not going to um pop up. Mushiro. Hi. Right. Um, how would you say the wind plucks at the clothes? Plucks at the clothes. Kaze wa fuku o. Hikimushiru. Perfect. Plug at the clothes. So, so. Can you read this for me? Hikimushiro to suru. Hai. O to suru. Hmm. Do you know what that tells us? To attempt to do something. Yeah. So, what is it attempting to do? Hikimushiro. Attempting to pluck. Yes. The pull pluck. Okay. Let's go read our line from the book. かぜがかんたかいおとをたてこりのようにすめたいゆびでおれのかみやふくをひきむしろとするはい perfect Okay, so we have a nice little comma here telling us this is our first clause. What does it say? The wind produces a high pitch sound. Perfect. And what else does the wind do? Um, with a finger as cold as ice. Ore no kamiya fukuo. At my clothing and hair, it attempt to pluck out. Yes. Do you know why ya is here rather than to? It indicates that there are other things as well. Yes, that it probably plucked. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Okay, kanji check. You remember how to read this phrase? Na o na no re. Perfect. And how about this guy from last time we met? Hibiku. Perfect. Echo. And this guy? Buki areru. Meaning violence and not aru. So, <laughs> how about this guy? Yoko. Hi, horizontal. And lastly is this one. Fuku. Hi, fuku close. Okay, can you read the sentence for me? Majutsu shi wa sake nda. What does that mean? Sakenda. Saken. Hi, sakebu. Ah, to um to yell exactly to... yes who yells the magician yell yep the magician he... yelled unda unda yes he, the explanation it's, it's uh that's not explanation uh, explanation is is no da you're correct so this does look exactly like nda but however sakebu is a verb so it's not sake noun plus um no this it is the verb sakebu conjugated into da form. But I can see what you're talking about. Cause that if this was like um 
Majutsui wa konda. That would make it into explanation nda. Then that would be the copula da. Th this is this is ta, but it's been vibrated because sakebu ends with bu. I see. And bu so, is also vibrated. Correction. So this is the past form of Hai. sakebu. Yes. Exactly. The magician so. yelled. Exactly. Um, can you read this word for me? Kaki. Keru. Good guess. It's actually ki. Kieru. Kaki kieru. Kieru. This kanji can be pronounced as ka, like in kasu. So I'd be the ka, and then su would be at the end. But here it's ki. Kieru. Kaki kieru. Kaki kieru means to like drown out a sound is how it can be used to drown out a voice. So something is so loud, you can't hear anything else. Kaki kieru. Basically, it makes something disappear. Kaki kieru. Kaki kieru. Kaki kieru. Hi, can you read the sentence for me? Needle. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Needle, needle. This. My goodness. I... My hint is I told Me. you something about fanfics that there was a character. Oh, that... Harry, Harry Potter. Also. Yes, thank you. Thank you to tell me about Harry. Otherwise, okay. Harry, no. Um, oto, ochi, ochi it should be ochi. It should be otos, uh, otoshita, ot uh, otosu. Otosu is if I dropped it, if I dropped an item, but if an item drops on its own, then it's oto. Otochita. Right? Yeah. Or ochita. Ochita. There's no T there. There, there, no is no tea. there it is. So ochita. Because the root form is ojiru. So so. Okay. Ochita oto ga kaki kieta. Um <laughs> The sound of the falling pin or needle was drowned out. Hi. Um, do you know Hi. what kasukani means? Kasukani. Well, you had it written down here. That's quick. actually not <laughs> what it means. <laughs> That's just leftover <laughs> from something else. But it's true. A lot of times I do have it written down there. Kasukani well, to do is that. actually. Kasukani <laughs> is, uh, is, uh, is actually um barely, barely very faint. Kasukani barely, barely or faintly, faintly. Awesome. So, how would you say the sound is drowned out by the wind in Japanese? Oto ga kaze ni kaki kieru. Perfect. Kakukieru. Nice. Can you read this for me? Kasuka ni kieru. Is that right? Kieru? Yep. Kieru. What does that mean? It means to Wow, barely... I should be I should have the word kikoeru over here. Kieru is not even a word. It is a word. It said to barely be able to hear. Yes. Barely hear. Exactly. Boop, boop. Um, do you happen to know how this kanji is read? Bakamo. Bakamono. Stupid hey. thing. Bakamono. Idiot. Do you know what the knife form of kikoeru is? Kikoeru. Kikoe nai. Hi. Okay. What is the potential form of kesu? Potential. Eru. Kesu. Su, su. Keseru. Yep, keseru. Perfect. Okay, so now we're learning a new grammar point, which is shika plus nai. The way this works is that it's a way to basically say everything is is this except for this so in other words this right here bakimono ga mieru 
would be what this means. And they're specifically saying only bakimono, everybody else, me and I. Um, could you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Ano bakamono shika mi enai. What does that mean? That idiot. Only that idiot. I cannot see. I, the only person that I cannot see is that idiot. It's actually the opposite of that. That would be dake. Oh, okay. So the opposite means the only person that I can see is the idiot. Exactly. The nai so, refer to everybody else. So, so. Oh, yep. Man, this is so weird. I know that it's, it's hard to wrap your hand around it when you first start it. Um, I do, And specifically this right here, it's a little bit vague whether or not it's either uh, only, it's, it could be the the idiot's the only thing that I, that I can see, or it could also be the only person that can see something is the bucket, baka, <laughs> baka mono. Uh, it's like it's anyway by context. Uh, for example, can you read this sentence? Warui, hi. Machutsu shi kara shika. Nu, nusu ma nakata. Hi. Um, I think the shika mean with the exception of yes, except except for the bad magician. Hi. Except. But this is kara. Kara meaning from. Yep. So except except for the bad magician, uh, everything else was stolen. It actually says not stolen. Not so stolen. Not, nakata. So basically, nakata. he's saying, other than from bad magicians, I haven't. I have not stolen anything. Exactly. Or I did not steal not, anything except the, for from the bad magician. The dictionary form of this is nusumu. Hi, mu. Ru? No, just mu. So the way how um nai form works in Japanese is that it's it's anai. The ma. Ah. So you get the m and you make ma. Nusuma nai, and then nai. kata is what happens with the e turns into kata. Moni, can you help me again with um? Hi. I was distracted by the previous lie. Because I keep getting confused with the potential form. Whenever I see something go eru eru, um, what am I confusing with? I confuse causative, mm. potential, and passive. They're, I get they're... those three things mixed in my mind. I I always can tell which one it is in context. <laughs> but I I actually get confused as well for um the name things as a student. I like quiz you for in the context <laughs> what it is. Um, but if I have to do it on top of my head, I always go like, ah, words. I see. Um, I'd have to like make a sentence. But all of them, all of them changed the, 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 um, the stem form into yes. the A sound, right? Whatever the not, previous sound was. Not the, the, the previous sound is always going to be U. Mm hmm. It's oh, all verbs in Japanese in dictionary form are going to end with u, and when you conjugate it, this u is normally going to be dropped and replaced with something. So, for example, nusumu is to steal is um m plus u. That's what nusumu is. Um, so mm -hmm. if I was to put this in potential form, it'd be nu uh nusumeru, nusumeru. So. Or nus, nu, uh, nusumanai. If, if the ending u sound shift over to the a, then it's probably going to the negative form. A nai. nai. Yes, so a nai. If, if it shift, if the ending u sound shift to the e, then it moving towards another case. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But basically, okay. all of them are um, sifting to things. Um, okay. okay, we can continue. Okay. Um, how would you say I can't? I couldn't hear anything other than the magician's voice. Madojutsu no oto shika. 
聞こえる。聞こえら。聞こえ、そう、ルーム。はい。聞こえなかった。あはい。Yep, past tense. Yep. マジツシ。So, other than the sounds made by the magician, I didn't hear anything. That's close enough to what I wanted. はい。Okay, our next verb right here is tatsukeru. Tatsukeru. Hi. You know what tatsukeru means? To help. Yep, to help, to save. Hi. So here's potential form, which is da deru for do verbs. For example, kikoeru. I have no idea how like all of them got typed up wrong like that. Um, But kikoeru can turn into kikoeraredu. I'm like so confused how my computer did that. Sticking the coal in there. Potential. Causative is saseru. So. Causative. Potential to be able to is rareru. Right, for new verbs. Right. Sase rare. Sasa rare. Ooh, okay. I think I, the reason I'm having such a hard time is I am dyslexic. <laughs> I'm dyslexic not just in, in, in like when I when the character flips in my mind, but mm. I'm dyslexic with the sound itself. The sound in my in my mind it, it flip. Makes sense. There's a there's a miswiring in my brain. Nothing worse. <laughs> oh well. Oh, Just have well. to practice. <laughs> On the bright side, at in most things in Japanese, um, things work in context. So, like if you're taking like the JLPT, for example, you're not normally going to see words by themselves. So, if the words are a little mixed up, sometimes you can kind of just read it and be like, "Hmm, that would make more sense with causative form than in passive form." I. But yeah, the main the difference between um passive and causative for u verbs is that second character. So like, um, so the passive form of nusumu, for example, nus is um nusuma de wait passive ade do, and nusuma seru is causative. Causative. So cause that. Stealing, and then to able to steal, able to steal something. Hi. Right. Okay, but yeah, how would you say "tatsukeru" in potential form? Potential form, we mentioned that is the reru sound. So, so. Tasuka, tasukake, tasukakeru, tasukake. Just tasuke. We're talking about tasukaru, which is a different verb. Tas, tasuke. 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 Yep. Tasuke. Rareru. Hi. Tasuke rareru. Hi. To be able to save someone. Can you read this for me? Shuchin wa dorobo o tasuketa. Hi. What does that mean? The owner saved the thief. Perfect. Nice. Now, could you make um tasukeru into potential form again and then make it into negative form? Tasukerareru. And then make it into the negative. So tasu, tasukerare nai. Hi. Perfect. Tasukerare nai. To not be able to save somebody. Tasukerare nai. Perfect. Okay, so now we're losing another way to say if in Japanese, which is eba. 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 So there's basically three ish ways that this is added to verbs in Japanese. For example, Hi. could you read the first sentence for me? Ano baka mono ga ireba nanto kasuru. Hi. So if that idiot exists is here probably in that context um something or the other will do it so some so in other words we'll be able to do something if that idiot is here 
So this right here is just deba from idu, which is a do verb. So do verbs, delete the do, add deba. Next hi. is an adjective. Can you read this one for me? Hi. Machutsu shi ga wakakereba. Good guess. It's actually wadui. Warui. Warui. Warukereba. Hi. Nigeru sumorida. Hi. So if the magician is bad, I plan to run. So if it Hai. ends with an E, delete the E and add kereba. Kereba. And lastly, can you read this one for me? Suchin ga sake beba warui koto ga okiru. Hi. This is from sakebu to yell. So the boo became be. Ba 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 be, ba 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 boo. So if the owner yells, then something bad will happen. So I want you to say, if I can't hear your voice, then I can't save you. So we got taskedu, kikoedu, and um, koi. Your voice. Anata no... Anna. Hi. Mm. Oh. Anata no koe. Um, koe. Uh, what are you? We're gonna call it a ga. Okay. Koe ga. Kiko kiko keru. Kiko eru. Kiko ereba. And not can he go a na ere na he go a nareba then I cannot save you. Uh, what is going on? Okay, he go he go a nai meaning I cannot hear he go a na hereba. Hi, perfect. Cannot say. Can. So how we add can to this? Taskenai. Task can to be able to dekinai. So need to do taske dekinai. Really, really. So this theoretically is a way you could add verbs, but there's a more default way to add verbs to dekidu. Which is te form. Tas so, get that dekinai. Hi. This is perfectly correct. Hi. My goal for this was to have you make taskedu into potential form, this taske radedu, and then radedu into oh. nai form. However, those two sentences are the same. There was no actual difference. Taske if you were radedu. talking to somebody, you said taskete dekinai, that's the same thing. Uh, dekinai is just slightly more dramatic, is how I would. um. Say they're different. Like, it's not really like that much different. Uh, but basically, you can only use Dicky and I like once per sentence. While passive form, you can use 20,000 times in a sentence. Um, but it's they're basically the same. Uh, oh, can you read the sentence for me? Nao ikanakereba yume shi o agerare nai. Hi. So first off, we have an if. I, if I if, was. If I, if I cannot hear your name. Specifically, it's if I don't hear your name. If I don't hear your name. So. Meshi o. You meshi o. I will not give. I get out and I would not be able to give. Exactly. This is the potential form in the negative. Yep. So if you don't, if you don't give me, if you don't let me hear your name, basically the let's not in here, but that's like the, what, the context, then I cannot give you food. Hey, uh, now say woof, woof. woof, woof. So, <laughs> so. Um, uh, do you remember what this word was? Taki kieru. Hi. What does it mean? Be drowned out. Perfect. And what's the mass form of it? 
Kaki kiemas. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read our lines from the book. Neburi ga mata sakenda. Hi, do you know what mata means? I forgot to do a slide on that. Mata is, is remaining still. It kind of. That's mada, which is very uh, similar. Again. Mata is, yep. Uh, mm, hi. Mata sakenda. Uh, koe ga fu. Uh, 